Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I am here with Showdown, uh, and I wanted to kind of give the newer players a breakdown on Showdown again, because I'm still seeing a lot of questions regarding this on online forums, and people have a misunderstanding of basically how Showdown works. This is important, particularly for newer players, because you're coming into the game and you have limited resources, and you're looking at this event going, hey, I got a car that works in here, but I don't have the car that is the milestone car from last season build. I don't have the money to really do it. So I'm just going to jump in there with, with whatever I can. Now, it happens at least this time we can use the PC car from two seasons or three seasons ago. And that is an option. So why not use it? Perfectly fine to do that if your goal is only to get these rewards which are based on the number of races it's irrelevant whether you win or lose them as long as you do them you will get those rewards and some of these rewards are important for progression in the elite tuner championship because you want to upgrade your elite tuner cars and you need all these tokens the negative to this grind is one it's a grind uh, it's a lot of racing for nothing more than participation meaning you're gonna lose you're going to have a lot of people that will be faster than you, some that will be slower than you, but you're really going to be stuck near a particular trophy level for the entire time that you're playing this unless you get a faster car. Two, it's a money pit if you start chasing cars. Showdown is always a money pit when it comes to chasing cars because the cars that will rule Showdown changes every milestone showdown. And that is going to be the last season's Purple Star Top 10 Crew Milestone Car. Not the gold star that you got that you think is going to be great. Even if you built this all the way, you're not going to make it to the top because there's 300 plus guys out there. No, actually 300 for top 10 that has that car plus people who modded the cars in. So there could be as m many as a thousand players with a car that's faster than yours. Fully maxed, ready to go. So understand if they really want to get in there and try to beat you up, they will ultimately be the Apex cars, not this one. This one's second best, even if you build it. So as a milestone player, if you're looking at six million to build this car, fusions, stage sixes, getting it built and putting it in, you're still not going to be the top, say, 100 to 200 spots unless you're just really, really lucky. And at the end, when purple stars start to push harder, you will struggle more. The other thing to understand about Showdown is that it's completely trophy-based heads-up racing. Meaning, if I have 500-some trophies, anybody else that has 500-some trophies is fair game. Even if the car is 6 seconds quicker than yours, or 3 seconds quicker than yours, it's irrelevant. You will still have to deal with the faster cars and if they are faster you will simply lose showdown has no handicap whatsoever there are no brackets it's trophy based only why are you running into completely maxed apex cars because we all start off at lower trophies so at some point a guy who decides to start showdown two days or three days into this because they were building their car has to get through the 500 range and when they do, they may ma match up to you, who is running a 9-second car, but unfortunately will run into 7-second cars, who are, who's going to just run you down. And even other players with not quite as max cars, if their car runs 9.1 and you run 9.2, guess what? You will lose. That's how that works. So regardless of what you think your car can do or how great it is or how much effort you put into it it doesn't matter faster cars will simply beat you that's just the way showdowns designed so understanding that when you go in will make it so that you're less likely to be upset when you can't reach certain goals the other point about showdown is that if you're doing a lot of these uh, participation races you have to understand you are not really gaining the resources you really should be gaining overall because a lot of these participation rewards do not include a key <laughs> no pun intended a key component of progression which is silver keys you need silver keys and the best place to get that still uh, is in live racing and you can get 20 or 30 depending on how much you play per day 
you really want those silver keys because every season's PC car relies on it and these showdowns are not going to help you with that. Here's here's an Apex car, uh, second best card in, in the showdown. Let's see how badly I get trashed. Unless that car is just barely built, I suspect I won't be too far ahead of them for too long. And here it comes and off it goes. And that's how showdown works. Okay, the guy's passing through the rankings. He's trying to climb up and you're the stepping stone because you're a newer player without the car that is faster. And he's not going to get that far because 8.4 isn't quite maxed. So that's the reality of showdown. If you're a new player coming into showdown, please understand that, that one, one car will always rule showdown. Two, participation rewards doesn't mean that um, working hard at it will give you better rewards. There is no working hard here. Either you win or lose, and it's just a grind to get through. Ranking rewards require a faster car. You just simply cannot get that far if you don't have the car to do it. And if your car is limited to a particular speed, you will ultimately be stuck at a particular trophy. The trophy ranges will slowly shift upwards as more and more faster players get further and further up. But with a slower car, you're not going to get super far until ultimately at all, but until at least later in the days of showdown, maybe around the last two days or one day when everybody's pushing up, you may be able to get a little further. But you will hit a wall at some point. The final piece is that showdown generally is resource intensive if you're chasing rankings. If you're building cars every season for showdown, you're gonna go bankrupt very fast in this game. Unless you're spending, uh, I totally screwed that up, but unless you're spending or doing something else that'll um, potentially help offset that a little bit. Wow, I, I won. So that's, this is a big time sink and a big resource sink if you're chasing this every season. Uh, some people are comfortable losing and uh, grinding. Um, I'm going to tell you that grinding showdown also burns gold just like live wood. So you're not really saving any gold here grinding either one. Uh, but live will get you generally long term more useful overall rewards than just showdown. Should you avoid showdown as a new player? No, you should play it. You should grind as much as you think you're willing to do uh, within reason of your resources. But if you're a competitive person and you're new and you get into showdown, you're going to be very frustrated. And that's just unfortunately the way showdown is designed showdown is not meant to be fully fair because obviously every showdown automatically has the one card to rule them all uh, showdown's not really well sorted because there are a lot of glitches and bugs and um, people using glitches to take your trophy so it's kind of a competition like event that is really not well sorted for actual fair competition. So know what you're getting into. Um, and once you step into it, just understand that unless you have the Foley Max Purple Star Apex car and you're able to shift it absolutely perfectly near world record times, you're just somebody else's stepping stone. All right. So that is my discussion for new players on Showdown. I'm playing with the relatively new account but it's still a year old and you can see where I am stuck in this championship showdown I will show you um, in a separate video my main account utilizing a maxed uh, yellow star car and how far I can get in comparison so you really can get a feel for just how different it is when you have a car versus when you don't have a car so we're gonna switch over to that account and then we'll take a look just how far that account can get with an Apex car. But understand that building the car costs money, building the car requires fusions, and requires stage sixes, which in this case, because it's an Audi R8 that shares it with other Audi R8s that have been around throughout the years, that's the only reason why I was able to quickly max that car. All right, let's switch over and take a look at that account's progress in, in comparison to this account. All right, so I'm here with my main account and a fully maxed car. However, I've hit a point in the trophy range where I'm starting to run into the true Apex car, and that is the Purple Star version of the Artie 
I mean Audi R8 uh, new wing, which will be faster and if driven property will always beat you. So that is the reality of showdown. You come in with even the milestone version of the best possible car, there are still 300 cars plus any hacked in uh, that is well ahead of you. So 7.913 is not reachable by this car at all. At best, this is a 7.94 car, so that it will always beat you, and that is the way Showdown works. Okay, so the trophy wall will be hit at some ranking somewhere, depending on both your car upgrade and skill. No matter how good you are, quote, at the game, that fact does not change that Showdown was set up for you to fail at a certain point. Okay, now the only way you can get around that is if you can somehow get access to a fully maxed purple star car and be able to run world record times and can deal with the glitch that people use to steal your trophies. All these factors have to be in favor for you to be able to beat uh, people with top rankings. Now, this guy isn't even trying. Either he disconnected or he's just running it in first gear just to irritate me whatever the point is what will happen a lot of times with these guys is they'll lose but then you lose trophy even though you won and that is because there is a glitch system that people use to steal them i verify that it's been done left and right in the especially in this level of competition in the higher rankings so i won he did a 20 second no name okay theoretically i gained 33 trophies when I click here, I can't leave. And that's always a sign they're trying to take your trophy. Someone turn me on to this. If you can't leave, you're, you're going to end up with 33 less trophies from where you started. Let's go ahead and take the next race. And you'll see that my trophy count actually will go down. That's a common way now in the top rank. So I gained nothing. Okay. Now, I didn't quite lose a bunch, but I gained no trophies. And I actually lost... Remember, I was supposed to be at 1663, and I'm only at 1630. So I actually lost the 33 trophies, and that guy who didn't even win the race actually got those trophies. So that's the reality of Showdown. Coming in, even if you get this far, once you get to this point, there'll be a lot of that kind of stuff going on, frustrating you and making it semi-pointless. Now, that is faster than uh, what... Um, what's his name ran? Uh, Zucar ran. So that's pretty impressive. But then again, that time could be faster just on display, so it's irrelevant. He probably ran a 7.95 and just showed up as 4.0. And it looks like we have a one evil point difference in the way we did the um, tune. Uh, but he actually ran the same. This, this stuff can be deceptive because it doesn't really tell you what's going on. I, I find those numbers to be kind of fun to reference, but pretty useless in actual comparison. So this is all the issues with Showdown, even when you have the Foley Max great, quote, great car for the Showdown. You'll deal with this kind of problems one way or the other. All right. So again, Purple Star car, um, which means if he even half knows how to drive it, I'm not going to win this. And he's going to pull on me. Nope. All right. So I got lucky on that one. Um, he must have had a off launch or something because we all know that car's a lot quicker. But anyway, so this is where I am with a uh, fully maxed version of the Gold Star Milestone compared to my new account, which is basically stuck in the 500 range. Uh, I mean, 800 trophy range, but like way down there in the rankings. That is the reality of Showdown. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm happy to try to answer them. Remember, these are all my personal views on things. You can, you're free to disagree with them. Um, not everything I say should be taken as gospel, obviously, because we all have our biases. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like. Uh, if you like my channel and would like to get notifications when I put up videos like this, Subscribe and hit the notification button so you can get those notifications and check them out. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.